You know, ever since Training Day came out, I've been a huge fan of Ethan Hawke as an actor. But I had no idea he'd actually directed two movies before this one. And that this is actually his third feature-length film. But that's not really here nor there. What matters is the end result. And how well he did his job. And I'd say he did an okay job. It's not an amazing movie, but there's something to it. There's a lot of heart in it and the core of the story works. So it's based on real events and it's about this folk country singer, Blaze Foley. And the script is actually co-written by his wife, which makes a lot of sense. Because a lot of the details in this could only be told by her, since the man himself is dead. And he wasn't really well known, and not a lot of people probably knew much about him. So she's in a unique position to tell his story. And the best parts of the movie are easily the parts with Blaze and his wife. Those are pretty much fantastic. And I have to hand it to Aliyah Shawkat, who plays the wife, because she was really good in this. But Ben Dickey as Blaze was pure perfection in this. I mean, I couldn't see anyone do a better job. Just the subtle way he delivers his lines is brilliant. So that performance was definitely a highlight for me. The movie also looks fine, but I felt like they might have gone a tiny bit overboard with it. It's so heavily color graded that it almost comes across as monochrome, with this brownish green hue. And the lenses they use give it this really soft look too. I mean, I get it, they were probably going for a vintage photograph look. And it works, but it did get a little bit boring to look at after a while. Now structurally though, the movie is kinda interesting. It basically jumps between three different timelines. There's this interview at a radio station with his contemporaries. Then there's the last live performance he ever recorded. And then there's the part with him and his wife, which to me is the good stuff here. But what they did was they basically showed the events that inspired the songs he performs. And that sort of ties it all together. And there's a pretty heavy emphasis on the music itself. It's also very clear that Ethan Hawke loves and respects the source material. And if you look at his other two movies, they also seem to involve music. So his love for music is pretty obvious, and it does show in this movie. And on a technical level, I don't really have any complaints. It's well shot, the acting's good, so is the writing, everything basically works. But at the end of the day, I just don't know how compelling the story really is. If you love the man and the music, I can absolutely see someone loving this movie. But as someone who wasn't familiar with him or his music, which is probably most people, his journey and arc wasn't that compelling to me. That being said, the love story worked great, and this is a love story as much as anything. But it's not only a love story, and there's a lot of focus on these other elements too. And I kinda wish they just simplified the structure and focused entirely on the love story. I think that would have made for a fantastic movie. But as it is, it works, but it could have been a lot better. However, the core is there. The heart of the story is the part with his wife, and it's absolutely great. And a lot of that comes down to the performances. They are just effortless. That's what really made this movie compelling to me, and that's what I really liked about it. But as a whole, it's not really groundbreaking in any way, and just sort of decent. Solid, but not that amazing. Perfectly watchable, but it could have been better. So would I recommend it? Yeah, sure, especially if you're into stories about singer-songwriters. So maybe give it a look, maybe don't. I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to get myself a secluded cabin in the woods. And hey, why not drop a comment below and check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.